kal halaliyam la yahawo bahasham shal yahawo shai bahasham rakakodash which is ancient pelehi before all praises to yahawo heavenly father's only hebrew name in the name of yahawo shai his son's only hebrew name in the rakakodash which is the wisdom and understanding these holy scriptures all right I want to say double honor to the apostles and elders of great mystery and salutation to sincere Akim, uh, spreading the, the good tidings, the good word, the true wisdom and understanding of the Holy Scriptures to our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, um, Natives, Amerindians, Confusion of Faces, Israelite foreigners look like the heathens, so-called white race, um, Arabs, so-called Chinese, etc., all right um so you know spirit let me to this video from rt news and i'm just gonna play a clip and then i'm going to go into scriptures true spirit all right Let's begin this hour with China, now accusing the United States and its allies of undermining global stability by provoking conflict with other major countries. This, as the director of the FBI claims, China poses an even bigger counterintelligence threat to the U.S. than Russia. RT's Rachel Blevins is following the story, and she's joining us now with more to this. Uh, so, Rachel, how did China call out the U.S. in this document? Well, China released a white paper which they titled China's National Defense in the new era. And in this, they specifically accuse the United States of engaging in technological innovation for the purpose of pursuing absolute military superiority. Now yeah, so <laughs> China is, is upset with um, Esau because of Esau blessing, right? And China got to understand that Esau blessing is a sword, right? And this is a prophecy according to this precept here. This is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 1. Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. All right, and that's talking about nuclear bombs and so forth. All right, and I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land, for in the day of trouble she shall be again, they shall be against her round about. All right. That's what these nations, you know, that's what the spirit is, is building up right now. Against him that bendeth, let against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifteth up in his brick, and against him that lifteth up himself in his brigand, brig, brigandine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Thus the slain shall fall by the by the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. For his is for Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power of hosts of his slakia, nor Judah of his of his power of Yahweh of hosts, through their land was filled with sin against Slakia, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel, flee out of the midst of Babylon. All right, and that's talking about today. All right. We're, we're captive in Babylon today. And when it says flee out of the midst, it says, you mean literally get a plane ticket or whatever. It says don't partake in our custom because Yahweh Hashem Yoshai is the one that's going to um, deliver us and come and pick us up. Those um, celestial vehicles, the chariots, Marakabia. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power, of Yahweh of hosts, through their land with, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel, flee out of the midst of Babylon, and deliver every man his soul, be not cut off in her iniquity, for in this time of Yahweh's vengeance will he render unto her a recompense, render means give. Babylon had been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. So the nations are upset. All right, so let's go back more in the video. In this document, China said that in today's age, the U.S. has provoked and intensified competition among major countries. You see that? They provoked and intensified competition. 
all right, among major countries. Significantly increased its defense expenditure, pushed for additional capacity in nuclear, outer space, cyber, and missile defense, and undermined global strategic stability. Now, China also noted that although it has the second largest economy, that the United States is the one that not only has the largest military budget, but when it comes to those defense budgets in 2017. Yeah, we'll get to that. Let's, yeah, let's get to that now. So America has the largest defense budget, military budget, and this is why, man. Esau don't play with his weapons. That's why we can't fight him with it, because that's his blessing. As much spiritual power, um, you know, we, we will inherit. Now is not our time to fight him. All right, we can't fight him with his own car gun. We got to fight him with our spiritual which is this word and be patient. All right? This is I this is Genesis 27 verse 39 and Isaac his father answered and said unto him behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above and by thy so and by thy sword shall thou live and shalt serve thy brother and it shall come to pass that come to pass when thou shalt have dominion shall have dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck all right so but and by thy sword that's talking about harab all right by thy sword so that's you right there esau that's what you live by your sword all right um let me slack you. Yeah, let me just go into this word sword. Mm. Mm. Let me edify the Akim a bit. And it says sword, which is H2719, which is slack you, yeah, Karab. Sword, knife, sword, knife, tools for cutting stone, all right? Interesting. When we go to the origin, it says the same, karab. It says to be waste, lay waste, make desolate. And what's Esau's name? Aishashua. He said, he wasted he, right? To be wasted, to be desolate, to be, to made, to made, to be made desolate and so forth. It says to parch through that is by analogy to desolate, destroy, kill, decay, desolate, destroy. Strong definition I was reading. All right. So that's Esau right there. Um, let's go to uh, let's play a piece more here. In 2017 alone, China says that it spent just a quarter of what the U.S. spent on its military. Yeah, I believe uh, last time I recall the U.S. spending something like sevenfold of the next uh, countries below it. Right. So that's a lot of money. Uh, so how has the U.S. now then responded to China's claims? Well, the U.S. has not specifically responded to this white paper that China released, but the timing here is notable because its release comes as the director of the FBI testified to Congress that not only is China the greatest counterintelligence threat to the U.S., but that it's more so than any other country, including Russia. Take a listen. I would say that there is no country that poses a more severe counterintelligence threat to this country right now uh, than China. And That's I say, saying a lot. That is saying a lot, uh, and I don't say it lightly. Who would be second? Uh, probably Russia. Now, China... Now let, let's read um, back to Jeremiah 51 and 7. Are right? we going to read them a bit? And it says, Babylon hath, hath been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. And the nations have been drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad, as, re as referencing. Mm. Thank you. 
Revelation 18. Babylon is sudden, fa suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her, take balm for her pain, if so she may be healed. Verse 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let us go every one into his own country. Her judgment reaches unto the heaven and is lifted up, even unto the skies. Alright? Talking about China was talking about the US military might even be in space as well, alright? Which is uh the second heaven. It says, um, Yahweh hath brought forth our righteousness. Come let us declare in Zion the work of Yahweh our power. Alright? Make bright the arrows, gather the shields, Yahweh hath raised up the spirit of of the kings of the Medes. Now, if you look up that word Medes, it would say a dwelling place where Japheth was, right? Now, um, Japheth, Japheth was uh, is no longer there, but Russia is there. And um, in June, Russia had a meeting, a summit with Putin and uh, I think I believe it's President Xi is his name. Xi um, had a meeting. So that's just, that's the spirit of the kings of the Medes and more sides raising up for his devices against Babylon. Yeah, you know Russia is willing to blow up the United States of America if if um they sanction Syria, if I'm not mistaken. All right, for his devices against Babylon to destroy it because it is in the vengeance. It is the vengeance of Yahweh and the vengeance of his temple. All right, now. Now I'm not saying that this is gonna go down or so forth because the mark of the beast, the RFID chip has to be implemented first as as mandatory, and then you know these wars will kick off. But right now it's a cold war whereby tensions will keep building up until somebody pushes a button. All right, so it's just a um, prophecy we're bringing out through the spirit, and um you know this this was um also referenced in um. In this precept here, Second Chronicles chapter twenty, and verse twenty-four. Yeah, it's lucky it. twenty-two. It says, "And when they began to sing praise, sing and to praise Yahweh, and when they began to sing and praise, all right, he was praising Yahweh Hashem and the Israelites." This is when um. Jehovah, Jehoshaphat was king, which is um, Yahweh Shapat, Yahweh judgment. Um, Yahweh set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which is the capital of Edom. All right, Ammon being the Japanese and Moab being the Chinese, like which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. All right, and and that's why I read um, Jeremiah fifty one first. Right? The most have not forgotten his people. Right, for the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir. <laughs> All right, utterly, utterly to slay and destroy them. When they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy one another. <laughs> so, you know, it's all part of how Bashim Yosha master plan. When Judah came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude and behold, they were dead bodies fallen to the earth and none escaped so that's just a little a little history because you know these things tend to reoccur you know scripture says what the most i required back then he required again roughly paraphrasing so let's uh play a little piece more of that clip now, China was very quick to fire back here, and a spokesperson for China's foreign ministry did speak out. Take a listen to what she had to say. Unlike the U.S., what we did and believe are completely different. China does not steal, loot, or lie. We achieved such remarkable achievements. <laughs> Zita, China revenue team. Let me bring that up. Now, China was very quick to fire back here, and a spokesperson for China's foreign ministry did speak out. Take a listen. Talking about the pride of, of Moab in um, Isaiah 16, right? I know what she had to say. 
Unlike the U.S., what we did and believe are completely different. China does not steal, loot, or lie. We achieve such remarkable achievements today with our wisdom and struggle. If China is fighting a war, it is the war to defend its legitimate rights and interests. Let me just go to the precept. China said we do not steal, cheat, and war or rob or something like that, right? And you know, the brother should know I'm going to Sirach 10 and verse 8. Where it says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. But Moab, you don't have next, all right? You can read about it in Isaiah 16. You don't have next. Israel have next, right? We're the next ruling power. So get over it, all right? Um, let me finish up this video and then... So it looks like there could be a new battle of words here between the two countries that goes beyond the ongoing trade war. All right, I see. So their wisdom and their struggle. Um, so what else did China's white paper say about, uh, you know, the subject of Taiwan, perhaps? Well, it's interesting because China came in in their document, they specifically said that they would be justified in using military force against any country that tries to interfere with the process of fully reunifying Taiwan with China. A spokesperson for China's defense ministry. Yeah, because um, if you look up China, um, if you look up Taiwan's luck, yeah, Taiwan was... Uh, well, I think the word is annexed by a Chinese emperor, the, the, the Qing dynasty, if I'm not mistaken, according to Wikipedia. Also said that any countries that are looking to support Taiwan's independence would meet a dead end. Take a listen. We are willing to strive for the prospect of peaceful reunification with utmost sincerity and efforts. However, we have to be very clear that seeking Taiwan independence will meet a dead end. If anyone dares to separate Taiwan from China, the Chinese army will certainly fight, resolutely defending the country's sovereign unity and territorial integrity. Now, these comments come weeks after the United States announced it was moving forward with a $2.2 billion arms deal with Taiwan, which China was very critical of. Yeah, we'll have to see how this unfolds as the trade war is still kind of hanging off on the sidelines right now. Rachel Blevins, thank you for filing. Yeah, and that's about it, you know. So, tensions are rising. We got to keep watching. Thank you know, to all of you tuning in. To all of you how about you, your chef, putting your spirit on me to do this lesson. I pray it was very fine to whoever may be watching this through the spirit. And, um, you know, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone and salutation to the sincere Akiyam. Shalom, brakatam, until another time.